Hi guys and welcome to a new series I'm doing where I'll be playing through the game with the intent of powering my base with solar panels in order to be as eco-friendly as I possibly can. This is the first time I'm trying this and to avoid some of the time taken at the start to set up basic things and get the research and solar panels I'll be speeding up the first episode. This is only cut down on the running around performing similar tasks. If you're finding the content enjoyable please click the like and subscribe button. We are aiming to get 1000 subscribers. As soon as we hit 1000 subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on a copy of Factorio or Dyson Sphere program. Also if you have any questions or ideas please feel free to drop them down below in the comments. I will happily answer all comments. So let's talk about this part of the playthrough to build an eco-friendly base. In future episodes I will not speed up the whole run. As I said, this is only because it's the start of the game. You can find out from my Factorio Beginner's Guide videos how to set up a base from nothing. First thing was to build coal miners to gather some resources. And as you can see, iron was a priority. This is because it's needed for nearly everything at the beginning of the game. Six iron miners was enough to get the game going. And then I thought we need to get at least one copper mine going. So once the basic mine was set up, I had the resources coming in. It was time to get some power going. This was going to be the only way I could get the base started in order to get the research going to get the solar panels because of research labs need power so this was going to be the only part that was non-eco friendly I started to craft the items and found a small patch of water in order to put down the bare minimum to start the base off with some power at this point it was time to start looking into how I can research the fastest way to get to solar panels It was at this point I realised that I'm going to need to automate the power that's happening within my base and start automating a few other things. So I went back to the base and started crafting up some belts and inserters. And now I wanted to get the mining going off the power so that I didn't have to keep dropping coal into all the coal miners. First was to provide the power with its own source of coal, so I wouldn't have to worry about that. Next, I needed to work out how I could start smelting items automatically, so I wouldn't have to keep going to the furnaces, filling them up with coal, and then taking the materials out of them. Now I know this isn't the best way to make a smelter, but for this part of the game it would just work until I could get my um, automation going. I 
Next, I wanted to start automating the science so that I wouldn't have to keep dropping science in and I could get to the cycle panels a lot faster. As you can see here, I just altered the track going around the miner so that I could still grab items out and make them automatically go into a box for now. But later on you'll see that I actually make this into a track that goes into automation that goes into the science. Now I start this automation out with boxes on either side, but you'll notice quite quickly that I think to myself, I can just put my science labs right down here and everything will be 100% automated for the red science. Next, I want to take the items so that they're not always going into chests and they're going straight into the assembly line uh, to make red science. So I go into the research and I start looking up for logistics. Next, I look at what I'm actually going to need when the solar panels are available in order to start making them and using them as much as I can. Uh, I notice that steel is going to be needed so that I go and look at how I can make some furnaces in order to make steel. I also notice quite quickly that I haven't actually researched steel and I set the first smelting setup incorrect so I saw this out. I also double up on the production of red science that's going by adding another assembler. Nothing about this was neat and I wasn't particularly happy with it, but it was just a way to get around something for now. There's a small jump here because I went off to go and farm for some wood because I need to get some more electric poles down. And honestly, I didn't think you want to watch me cut down a load of trees. At this point, I start using the tracks to take things from the miners and the smelters and put them directly into the assembly line to make red signs. I look at what's next to research on the tree and I realise that we're going to need green science. So I think to myself that it's going to require a few more things, a few more assembly lines in order to get green circuit boards and start working to getting green science automated. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like. Alongside this video, I also do guides on Factorio. So please go and check out those videos after.